What is going on, everybody out there in YouTube land? Revolution Hot Cowboy here, and I'm back with some Japanese Pokemon trade card pack openings. So before, I've opened up base set, and then several, at least two of each of the air sets, Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket, Gym Series 1, Gym Series 2. Well, now it's time to move on some to, to you know, some later sets. So, I got a couple of Neo packages. Neo Series 1, and Neo Series 2. And just for time convenience, I'm open one per video. So, this video will be Neo Series 1, or in the U.S., we call it Neo Genesis. And this set... The Japanese English sets are about the same, other than the fact that there were some Neo promos with Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Toadile, and their Evolve forms that were also featured in our English set, but this one will just feature just one of each of them, while ours featured two of each, along with their Evolve forms. There's, there's a Lugia, and back in the pack, there's a Pichu, the baby for Pikachu, and an Apom, and that's about it. And, of course, there's about ten cards per pack, if I remember right. And the holographic usually in the front. And hopefully I don't see the hollow just yet. Because sometimes they kind of do these packs kind of odd. Where sometimes you can see the back of the cards. And sometimes you see the front of them. So hopefully we don't see the hollow just yet. Hopefully. We'll see. Just making sure. Alright. So they're always. Okay in the back. Alright. Just making sure. So if it's right. And I'm not sure how this works. If it's just going to be one rare or two. Because. I know the gym series is the only series where the rare was, the rare and hollow were in front of you. You got two rares. I mean, that was pretty awesome. The rest of the set, you always got one. And this set, just like the base set, you're always going to get, you're not always going to get a hollow. I was going to say always, but that one, you're not always going to get a hollow. You may get a non-hollow or a hollow. So, let's see. Well, there's a rare, so there is two rares per pack. Okay, so I'll remember that next time if I open another, uh, you know, Neo 1 pack. But anyways, starting off with a Cleffa. Which is the Bay Form of Clefairy for those of you who don't know. Then we got a Spinarak. Please forgive me for any glare. I'm trying to do this because I can't the sunshine too much. <laughs> we got a Bay Leaf. We got a Snubble. It's too much light over here. I guess this was not the best spot. This would be um, kind of like a double gust. I, God, I cannot remember. Dang, for the life of me, I forgot. This one's like an energy switch. Or something like that, I can't remember. Or Switch, just in general. Here's uh, Natu. I always get the two mixed up. This is Pokemon Town, or Pokemon March, depending on the translation. We've got um, Professor Elm, and our Holographic, ooh, we've got King Holographic Kingdra, awesome. I have this card in English, but you know what, I'm glad I have a Japanese too, so... So hey, we got both a hollow and a hollow. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know the odds of these packs compared to, you know, the English ones. The English ones, you don't always guarantee a hollow. But hey, good way to start it. You know, start off with a rare and a hollow. So here's the hollow, and once again, get the rare out. The Cleffa, so... I don't know if it'd be the same way for Neo Series 2, because Neo Series 2, you only got... No, I guess it wouldn't, because Neo Series 2, you only get a holographic. There were no non hollow rares in that set, so... I'll keep that in mind next time for Neo Series 1. But anyways, that's my, uh... Latest Pokemon Japanese booster pack opening. As always, new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure to like this video, comment, you know, and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm Revolutionary Cowboy. Rock on and keep collecting.